In this video, I'm going to show how to create a database in MySQL. But first, what is a database? That word's a bit ambiguous, as people use it to mean different things. MySQL's a database. But it's really a database management system because inside MySQL there are databases. And inside of those databases are tables. But sometimes people say query the database when they really mean query the table. So we're going to create a true database within the, P the PHP My Admin tool that allows us to admin our MySQL database management system. First of all, I'll log in with an ID I created earlier and use my super secret, super secure password. Now I've already created the database that we're going to use in our examples. It's one called diary, and right now it has a table called specimen. As a matter of fact, what you'll find is that I'm going to create that table called specimen using something called Spring JPA, where it simply creates the table as a reflection of the object. Nonetheless, I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit. We'll cover that in a future video. Right now, we're just looking at creating a new database. So let me create another new database. We'll say new and give it a name. I could call it something like stats or maybe visitors. Something, it doesn't really matter. We're just going, doing a little demo here. Now for encoding, I'm going to look for UTF-8 general. There we go, UTF-8 general CI. And then I choose create. Before I choose create, just take a mental screen capture of what's over here on the left because our database is going to appear in this tree on the left. And sure enough, we have created the database called visitors. Now remember, within the database, we can create tables. So you see here, it's very easy to create a table. We could say visitor or we could even say user. Maybe that would be better. Number of columns. And then we get an editor view where we could say user ID int. Let's leave the null box unchecked, which means this cannot be null. And then we'll also tick auto increment or AI, which means the database will come up with this user ID by itself. Now we can say first name, probably make that one of our car. This one we might want to make nullable. Last name, and this one again we can make of our car and might want to make that one nullable. We could put a reasonable length on this. Probably nobody has a first or last name greater than 255 characters. Then we could say middle, initial, something like that. Var car again, or actually that one we could even do car. Since it's middle initial, we could be reasonable with it. Let's just say 10. Maybe someone has like a two middle names or something like that. So we'll give a bit of capacity and once again tick the null box. I'm not going to use this table in any of our demonstrations, but I did want to show you just how easy it is to create a database and then also show the distinction between what is a database management system, what is a database, and also what is a table, as those tend to get confused a bit. So I hope this video has been helpful, and I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you.